All right, today we'll be covering the gauntlet arm rocket launcher for the Mark 7 armor. Um, so as you can see here, I've got the the, the forearm piece. Uh, this is actually back here. Uh, this piece right here is actually a four inch uh, conduit pipe uh, for drainage and whatnot. Uh, it fits perfectly over my arm. So uh, I just decided to use that because it's easy, it's round, um, easy to cut, it's PVC. Um, but anyways, so um, as you can see here, the top here is removable. And what I've got underneath here is a set of servos. Now, I've decided to go with two sets of servos uh, in creating the rocket launcher um, mechanism uh, just for reliability. And uh, basically, if, if one if one can't lift the thing up, the other one will help it. So uh, it just makes more sense to do it that way. So, And if you remember, this is the servo I reversed the other day in the video that I did for uh, reversing servos. So, because usually... If you do it this way, the servos operate differently. So you have to reverse the servo by uh, taking the potentiometer uh, and reversing that, and then the current on the the motor as well. So, and the, the link for that should be right about there. So, um, now as far as that goes, um, the next thing would be obviously the hinges. So here are the set of hinges, and I did this using basically the same process I did to create the. Um, uh, for or the the faceplate hinges, uh, which is basically just making a template and then seeing where exactly it needs to go. So as you can see, I've got holes there and some holes here. Just kind of trying different spots to see what um, what geometry will will work for opening uh, that piece. So, um, but anyway, so this is what I've created for that. This is a uh, basically just a simple hinge system. Now the way this will work is it'll actually mount the servo will actually mount. Uh, at the base of this, so let me show you on this side. So it, it would be mounted to the servo, to the the servo to the arm here. So as it went up, it would push the arm up. So and then back down. And um, if you look at the thickness on this, let me show you real quick. I I will actually have to to lower this down or raise it up a little bit. Um, I was originally planning on using a different set of servos for this. These are feather servos. Uh, and they have quite a bit of torque to them, so and it's a small piece, so it should be easy to do. But as you can see there, I can actually do it uh, by another size of the servo, just raise this up a little bit. Now the reason why I want to raise it up is when I put this thing on, uh, it's pretty tight up against my arm. Um, which is good to, to hold the, the armor piece in, in place, but after a couple hours I'm sure that would probably irritate my arm. Um, so I'll be redoing this piece here and raising it up a little bit. Um, the hinges will go right about here, as you can see, and they need to be squared off. So it'll probably be in the center somewhere, or off to the side, and then these will go up and down. So, and as far as uh, an actual missile, um, a friend of mine, Steve, said, hey, Sharpie might work, because it looks like it's got the same end on it, kind of as a missile. You just need a little red LED at the end of this, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But uh, actually, I'm I am sure about how I'm going to do that. It just it will take a little bit of work. Uh, basically, just wiring up an LED and a small little set of uh, batteries inside here. Now, what I've actually thought about doing is actually making this so it launches Estes model rockets. Um, now, this is a little bit too small for an actual rocket motor, but I'm sure I can probably upsize it a little bit um, after the molding process. So, um, but that's pretty much about it for the for that piece. I'll be doing some more update videos on this soon. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, if you haven't subscribed already for updates, uh, please subscribe, uh, like and share this video if it's help helpful to you. Um, I'll be doing some more on this a little bit later, I've been working on a lot of projects recently. So, um, But as I said, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section down below, and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks.